Welcome to Just a Dash, season three. We're cooking every single recipe from the semen cookbook. Did you look it up? Yeah, it's called Chugging Cum. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called Natural Harvest, a collection of semen-based recipes. Here's a three-star review. I personally do not fancy adding the, the, the ingredient to the enclosed recipe. I have the stamina to produce the special ingredient. Excuse me? It's a lot of just regular recipes plus semen. The only one that sticks out is the oysters recipe. I made a joke last season, and now we got another joke now. Way to go. You might have inspired that guy to write the book, though. Do you think I inspired him? Good read, but not for the price. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this entire through line is gonna ruin this episode. I was trying to make beautiful food, but we'll see you on the other side. Good luck to me. You gotta check your oil every once in a while, but like a whole book? <laughs>
is take off some of that silver skin because it's just really tough to break down. I know that every single day, every single day, I'm like, this is the best, but there's something about that unctuous, fatty beef cheek mixed in with those peppers. At this point, I'm gonna add our red enchilada can sauce. And I'm gonna open the can like a three-year-old. Oh my God. There we go, okay. You know, if we were to try to braise this right now, it would get burnt, it would get stuck, it wouldn't be a good scene. So, we're gonna let it out with a little bit of beef stock. Four cups of beef stock to one can of red enchilada. Mmm, like, fuck, that red enchilada sauce is, is, and beef stock, and beef cheeks, and you don't have to brown it. I didn't even fucking brown the beef cheeks, you know? The beef cheeks are actually gonna take probably two to three hours. Then the peppers would just completely pretty much dissolve. So by keeping them whole, they're gonna keep the integrity and they're easier to take out. So now we're gonna bring this up to temperature. We're gonna add some dried oregano, some fresh cracked pepper, some salt. There we go. See these little scraps of fat? I'm gonna add these to it just for flavor. Let's bring this up to a temperature. And let's just stare. Let's just contemplate. And let's just think about how beautiful this dish is gonna be. I love making stews, soups, skimming the scum, when life gets heavy. And we all know life is heavy. And we gotta take care of each other, don't we? And we gotta cook for each other. And we gotta love each other a little bit more. We gotta stand up for each other. We gotta fucking take the world, drop kick it in the face, take out the bad guys. We gotta take out the bad guys through love, okay? Cool pants, Torrent. 30 seconds of Maddie. Literally, we can't even stare. We can't even stare quietly. He drops his jewel. She just compliments you randomly. Like, <laughs> nice pants. <laughs> See, last season, I was like, what are the rules? There's no rules. This season, there's rules. I'm trying to cook. <laughs> Can I cook? For all of my people at home, all my friends, all my fans, all my followers. Can I cook? Yeah! Bring it up to a boil. Bring it up to a boil. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's fucking bubbling. Would I happen to have a swap out for this, Michelle? Yeah. Yeah? What do you mean? You actually have a swap out for this? Yeah. <laughs> That's like the first time you've ever like Come killed. Through? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. First time? It's <laughs> the first time. <laughs> you said hot? No, I... I don't know, your, your hands what? are like asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna just pull out all the peppers. Boom. Ooh, that's a good one. It's just one of those perfect dishes. Peppers. It's a dish that I don't make often, but I'm going to start. Okay, so we're just gonna check on our beef cheek. They still need a little bit of time. And that's exactly, exactly, that is exactly what I'm trying to do. Lid back on. So this is gonna take another hour and a half. Don't touch it. I didn't. I, I didn't. Did well, play back, did I? Cause you're a superstar. You got what? the face that they've been looking for. You're a superstar. Hello? You got the face of days and looking for You're a superstar You got the face of days and dreaming Hey guys, you wanna come down to Fort Erie and film the uh <laughs> These episodes cost a lot of money. <laughs> we We've pulled the peppers, it is so beautiful. I'm so excited. Check this out. Do 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 Here we go. Beef cheeks. That, that pull apart, it's like it's like sticky. It almost looks like, like honey when you break apart those beautiful beef cheeks. It really looks beautiful when you break those apart. Oh. Oh. Makes me want a natural harvest. Look at this, just falling apart. Oh my God. And that is like the most unctuous, best meat on an animal, truly. Like the cheeks, the tongue, the little pockets, there's these little muscles kind of like behind the eyes that are incredible. We got the peppers. And what we want to do is you can just 
peel the skin off the peppers. We don't want the skin, okay? That's not yummy. And then you're, 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 you take out all those beautiful braised peppers and onions. And then we're gonna add our meat. Mash those all up, whip that all together, and you have like one of the greatest fillings ever in the enchilada. I'm gonna give it one little ladle of the broth. We're just gonna stir this in. This is, oh, oh my God. Okay, what, what, what is this cheese called again? Oh, queso Oaxaca. Oaxaca, Oaxacan. And what's this one called? Cotija. Cotija, okay. We have our Oaxacan cheese. We're gonna just rip this into pieces. Woo! One for me. One for me? Huh? One for you? Isn't everyone here lactose intolerant? Oh, I hit the tongue though! One more? One more. Yeah! There we go, there we go! There we go! On the catch, you just drop below the frame so you don't see your mouth. Oh. Uh, uh. You didn't get the shot, eh? Camera B. Typical camera B, it's fine. You're only sitting down while working. There's too much of us to expect you to get a shot when we do it three times. Unwrap, we got some flour tortillas. I'm a flour tortilla guy, unless I, I am eating fresh made corn tortillas. I know some people are gonna catch some feelings. Store-bought corn tortillas just kind of suck, especially where I live. So we're gonna take some of our enchilada sauce and we're just gonna put it on the bottom so nothing sticks. We're gonna take a little bit of the beef, three little pieces, a couple pieces of the cheese. We roll, we roll them up in our little flour tortillas and then lay them gently one by one in their little, who keeps walking by, what is this? A joke? We're shooting. We're gonna ladle. A little enchilada sauce over just the top because I want the edges to get crispy. We layer them next to each other. We fill them with our beautiful Oaxacan cheese, that fresh, beautiful pulled cheese. So now we have our oven preheated to 400 degrees. This doesn't take that long. As soon as the, the cheese is bubbling, then you take it out and we're gonna, we're gonna top this with some crema, some other cheese. What's that cheese again? Sorry. Cotija. Cotija. Sorry. You know, I am just an idiot. We're gonna add the iceberg, some crema, some co, co what? Cotija. She told me a thousand times. My brain is like, it's just, whenever I get caught on like one word, like I still can't say peculiar. Barbacoa beef cheeks and filled with the peppers and cheese. And we're gonna, what was it? Oh, this is too good of a bit. I have a brain of a cat. Yes, Cotija. Cotija. One of my biggest fears is I can't say peculiar, peculiar, peculiar. Sound guy over there is acting very peculiar. Let's put this in the oven right now. I know how to say beef cheeks. Hey, look. Oh! <laughs> yeah, baby! Okay. The smell. The smell is something special. This is perfect. It's so, so, so beautiful. We got some cilantro, some scallion, some green onion, iceberg lettuce. What's the cheese called? Cotija. Cotija. Let's build ourselves a plate, shall we? Our beautiful enchiladas. Oh my God. Ah! We're gonna need the glove back on. That's really fucking hot somehow. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna put the crema on first, okay? A little crumble of some cheese. What is it? Cotija. So crumble the cotija, some green onion, some cilantro, a little iceberg lettuce, some lime. Look at that steamy beef cheek barbacoa enchiladas. I'm fucking, I'm number one, right? Like, let's not fake the funk. <laughs> I'm number one. This, and that's okay, is, you've seen the episodes, and you can see how good I am at cooking. The best thing I've ever made. Have I said that before? Sound guy and Michelle, let's go. Is that one of the greatest things you've ever had? I don't want to put words in your mouth. Look, I'm not one to lie. You okay. only lie to me. Sound guy, come here. Because I'll eat a steak fork and a blow pan bag. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 uh, uh. Oh! That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm literally gonna get assassinated by a sound guy. Okay, sorry. Don't mess with sound guy. <laughs>
Okay, here we go. <coughs> How good is that? You're never getting it. And now we have to throw this fork in the trash. Andy! What's it? <laughs> you couldn't have had, like, we're making a cooking show! You literally, you're sitting next to me. You're literally sitting right there behind the wall. You don't get any. Fuck off. I'm Mary Matheson. This is just a dash. I love you so much. We all have COVID. Fuck. <laughs> I have children. I don't even have a will. Cause you're a superstar. <coughs> you got the face that they've been looking for. You're a superstar. You got the face that they've been dreaming of. You're a superstar.